Hi there guys! Um, I am going to do a little bit of a different video today. I'm going to do an Amazon haul because I can't go to Tuesday morning and my local Michaels and Hobby Lobbies are shut down. So I decided to go shopping on Amazon for some art supplies. Now I actually checked Michaels and Dick Blick and Hobby Lobby for some of these items and they didn't have them. So that's why I got everything from Amazon instead of where I normally would. So, to start this video out, my Amazon art supply haul drink for today is pear apple cider from STEM Ciders in Colorado. Nice, crisp, and refreshing. Also something else, um, this is what my table looks like. It's just a normal table and I cover it in press and seal saran wrap stuff so I can lift it off when it gets dirty and reapply because I am a molly grub and I get paint, alcohol ink, I get, I, get, I get shit everywhere people so that's why I put this down on my table to keep it, um, keep it from getting dirty. Okay we're gonna start this art supply haul off with some littler items. I needed a decent eraser. Um, this is just for pencil and charcoal drawings. This is the Mono, the Tombow Mono Plastic Eraser in black. I seen somebody else talking about this. And it seemed to be a good eraser. And it's plastic so you won't get all kinds of yuckies places. I'm going to leave this on just so I know what it is. Yeah, looks like a very nice plastic eraser. Next item I got was an electric eraser because I plan on doing some charcoal drawings coming up. I don't have an electric eraser. So yeah, um, I just got the cheapest one I could find really. So here are all the little extra erasers that came with it. So that's a nice supply. Looks like we've got some tiny ones and some medium sized. Brush. And this is what the actual component looks like. It says install two AAA batteries, which of course I didn't bring down with me. My fault. But anyway, at least you can kind of tell. Here's one of the medium sized tips and it's got a little button on it. I got the cheapest one and I will have links for everything down below. Um, because I don't expect to be using this constantly. So uh, this is mainly just for the little fine details that I can't get an eraser in. I thought this would be a good tool to have. It wasn't that expensive. And I thought it would just be a nice addition to my um, charcoal and drawing tools. Now for the bigger stuff. Now I am going to be doing a project in the next few months. So most of the next, all these materials coming up are for that project. And that project is going to be done with pan pastels. I got two packs to start off with. This is the weathering kit, rust and earth. I also got this stack right here. These are the neutrals. We've got grays, blacks, and whites. So let's open this one first. I should have started off with this the primary color set, because so, I know you can mix any color you need to. I got the primaries. These are somewhat expensive. Like I said, I'll have everything linked down below. But I mean, it, it takes a little bit to get started up with pan pastels. So I'm going to go slow with it. Like I said, I've got something to do in May. That gives me April to collect a couple more colors and practice. I do have yellow ochre coming separately. And then my next set will probably be just the primary colors. Because with these, the neutral set, primary colors, I'll be able to mix anything I need. Okay, now in this kit, we also got some soft knives and covers and some little blendy things. How do you open this? All right, so these little things go on the tip of this palette knife to help you blend and put it on the paper, which I'm gonna demonstrate and test these out here just in a little bit. So you got this in this kit, which helps in the price because you did get some tools with it. You also got these two little blending sponges. Now 
Now in this kit, you got this nice tray. I'm going to keep this tray for when I am doing the pastels. I'll probably put them all out in the tray, but uh, there is a lid to one and you can put it in a stack. So I'll probably store it in the stack and keep the tray to the side. But in this one, we got burnt sienna tint cream color. Burnt Sienna. Burnt Sienna Shade. Burnt Sienna Extra Dark. Red Iron Oxide Extra Dark. This is probably the yellow ochre, but it looks green. Nope, raw umber. The last one in this set is red iron oxide shade. And for what my project is, these are a, a nice variety for what I'm going to be doing. But I'm just going to just touch these. Oh. Feels like a really nice high quality eyeshadow. <laughs> All right, let's kind of set these up here and let me get open this stack. Oh, this came with some tools too. Okay. So, ooh, let's set that off the side. Okay, so in the bottom of this, we have two more applicators. And a little applicator that looks like an eyeshadow applicator. And I have plenty of these. I used to be a Mary Kay consultant, so I've got a lot of these little extra eyeshadow applicators that I have down here in my art room because I use them for various things already. Another little blender. I'm actually going to keep this blender out. Probably put all my other little tips in here. Alright, let's see if I can do this in some kind of order. This is Payne's Gray. Titanium white. Neutral gray tint. Neutral gray. Okay, now I have a couple of other items that I didn't get on Amazon, but since I've seen that the, these kind of sponge things is what most people use to apply them, I um, already had this Real Techniques Beauty Blender spongy thing. This was just a couple of bucks. Um, feels the same to me. So if you are getting into pan pastels and you don't want to buy these, you can go to Walmart and buy a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Feels the same. Exactly the same. Just letting you know. All right, and I also brought down, um, this is for powders and stuff. This is makeup related, of course, but um, it's kind of like a microfiber. I thought, gee, I wanted to try this with these also, just to see. We're going to try that out in a little bit. And I know you can clean off your sponges and tools, they say, with a paper towel, but... As you guys already know, I'm really into makeup, and I use these micro microfiber towels to clean my makeup brushes with in between uses, so I don't always wash my brushes. I just swirl them around on these towels, and it takes all the eyeshadow off. So I thought, gee, they probably will work the same with these tools. If this doesn't work, I'll just use a paper towel, but these at least can go into the washer, and I don't have to waste paper towels. 
All right, so let me get out a piece of paper and let's test some of these out. Okay, got my little applicator thing bob on there. And I'm just going to take a swipe. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh yeah, it does. And I know this is going to stain, and they said that you can wash these with soap and water, but let dry for 24 hours. But um, let's really try to wipe this off in this fiber towel. Yeah. Of course, the pigments are going to stain this, but it looks like it did a really good job. So that's good. If I don't want to waste paper towels, so I'll just use these and wash them. Good to know. Good to know. All right. So, and then... Um, I'm not going to swatch all these colors, but I did want to show you that uh, you can, um, let's pick up some on this side, then we're going to pick up some on this side, and we're going to do some cool, you see that, it's like a two-tone deal, all right. Okay, so here's one of their little blender deals. Let's just pick up some pigment there. Like that. Now I wanted to see how this compared. This is for large areas. This is strictly for putting large areas of color, like for your background and stuff. So what color do we want to do that? We'll do this nice orange. Ooh, really picked it up, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say that works pretty good. I know they had larger ones on Amazon. I can't remember if I... I don't think I ordered any. But this seems to work. I mean, if I'm doing a background, I don't want it dark anyway, so... That's good to know. I know you can blend these on like printer paper or a non-textured paper. You can mix them and then add them to your surface. You can also mix them right on here on your um, tools. So there's a lot of ways to mix these pan pastels. I know they look intimidating, but I don't think they're going to be. I think they're going to be easier than my pastel sticks, but only time will tell. All right, let's test out this thing. Let's see if this works at all. Um, let's get some of this here. Oh, all right. Let's see if it comes off. Kind of, yeah. And you can kind of manipulate this and do what you need to. So, if you want to get into pan pastels, don't be afraid to look around your house to find tools. Some of these tools can get expensive, and I know these little guys wear out and you have to replace them. So, if you can find something else, or just go to Walmart and hit up the beauty aisle. Like I said, this was a beauty um, puff puff. There's all kinds of different sizes of beauty sponge in the at Walmart. This is a real techniques. They make all different kinds, little ones for concealer all the way up, different shapes. So you don't have to spend the money for the actual tools that you're supposed to get with these. Just look around your house. All right, guys. So that is my little Amazon haul and my pan pastels. Um, I will be posting some pictures of what I do on Instagram. I have a lot of um, learning to do with these. Because this is truly, even though it's a pastel and I've used them in the past, it's kind of a new medium because they're in this pan shape and I'm using tools that I'm not used to. So I have some work to do, but I do have one big project that should be done by the end of May that you will be seeing here shortly. So I'll have my Instagram link down below. So check on that in a few months. Anyway, guys, I hope everybody is staying safe in these times. Stay home if you can. Just don't be near people. I don't want my viewers to get sick. And it might be okay if you get sick, but then you might pass it on to somebody else that won't be okay. So please stay indoors. Give this video a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. Hopefully I'll be doing some more since I get go out 
go shopping. I'll do some more Amazon hauls for you. And I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.